हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित एंड इन माय सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर आई एम डिटेलिंग अबाउट द थी वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ थीरियोजिनोलॉजी एंड इन आवर कंटिन्यूड लेक्चर्स ऑन एंड्रोलॉजी टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द सेक्सुअल बिहेवियर इन द मेल डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स फ्रेंड्स आई एम हाईली थैंकफुल टू ऑल दोज हुव सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब काइंडली डू सब्सक्राइब टू इट so that you receive our videos very fast so friends we are we discuss today about the sexual behavior in the male domestic animals friends i am professor g n purohit the head department of veterinary gynecology and obstetrics veterinary college bikaner rajasthan india and in our today's topic we discuss about the sexual behavior the mating behavior the pre copulatory copulatory and post copulatory behavior and the factors affecting the libido now friends each species has a special sexual behavior which is species specific and within species there is a difference between male and the female the sexual behavior in males has been differentiated into two components the libido and the mating ability libido or the sex drive is defined as the willingness and eagerness of a bull to attempt to mount and provide a service the mating ability refers to the ability and competence of the bull to complete the service of a estrus cow the serving capacity is a measure of number of services performed by a bull under stipulated conditions and the mating or the copulatory behavior is that behavior which is shown immediately before during and after mating by a male so friends let us now discuss about the mating behavior mating reproductive behavior can be divided into three state three components the pre copulatory copulatory behavior the copulatory behavior and the post copulatory behavior let us discuss each of each one of them the pre copulatory behavior includes the searching of the sexual partner the identification of the sexual partner involves the various senses like the olfactory the optic auditory and the tactile senses The male animal will search its partner by seeking and identifying the estrous signs of the female animals. Secretions from the female reproductive tract serve as sexual attractants and sexually stimulate and attract the male towards the female. The pheromones secreted by the female uh, they uh, attract the males. The pheromones are also secreted by the males and uh, in some species they attract the females towards the male. the for example the boars produce two attractants from prepucial pouch and saliva the saliva of the boar produces 3 alpha androstenol and 5 alpha androstenone both the compounds have musk like odor the musky odor in bucks usually comes from both their urine and the scent glands their scent glands are located near their horns and bucks usually spray their urine on their beards chest face and front legs during the rut the searching behavior in the domestic animals have been classified over here in the males in the bovine approaching the female and testing for lordosis chin resting in the equines the visual search caprine in ovine neck outstretched and head held horizontally sniffing and licking the anal genital region nudging and exhibiting flyman response the canine roaming in its territory swine moving with sows to identify the receptive animals and feline prowling nudging means touching or pushing gently and prowling means moving restlessly you can see here the bucks they are trying to identify the female in estrus they are showing the flyman response then the, there is courtship the male accompanies the female and uh, there are species specific events sniffing of the vulva by the male urination by the female and flyman or curling of the lip you can see over here in a bull the male checks for female lordosis then there is human eye contact or touching and detection of the females you can see here the male is uh having courtship with the female and the female urinating it the bull showing the flyman response and the bull 
resting his uh, cheeks on the back of the cow to see here also you can see to see the response of the female so these are some of the species specific uh, sexual behaviors they shown by the bovine caprine canine swine and feline uh, the in the bovine the flemen equine flemen and high degree of excitement caprine and ovine also show flemen sniffing and licking of the vulva and canine sniffing and licking of the vulva pigs do not show the flemen response there is nuzzling grinding of teeth and foamy saliva the male bite the queen at the neck in in the feline species the flemen response the flemen reflex is noticed in all animals except the pigs many species such as the bull ram and bucks smell the genitalia as well as the urine and exhibit the flemen response which is characterized by elevation of the head and curling of the low upper lip the vomero nasal organ is an accessory olfactory organ and is connected to two small openings in the anterior roof of the mouth just behind the upper lip curling of the upper lip closes the nostrils and allows a suckling response to occur in the nasopalatine duct the less volatile substances are aspirated into into the nasopalatine organ where they are evaluated by the sensory neurons so this is how this is the actual reason why the bull or many species they show the flemen response here you can see the uh, buck showing the flemen response the dog sniffing the vulva of a female dog the stallion showing a flemen response and even camels they show the flemen response buffaloes also show the flemen response then there is sexual arousal uh, the uh, in, depending on the species there is during the sexual arousal there is penile protrusion uh, in most uh, animal species the courtship behaviors will land in immobile stance willingness to mate by the female which stimulates the significant sexual arousal in male animals lordosis behavior is naturally occurring body posture for sexual receptivity to copulation present in most mammals including rodents elephants and cats here you can see the boar the buck and the buck they are uh, showing the different sexual behaviors then there is erection of the penis the penis of the bull ram and boar is fibroelastic hence during pen penile erection the diameter of the penis do not increase much penile erection is under parasympathetic nerves the stallion penis is vascular in nature hence there is significant increase in the size during the penile erection you can see here in a stallion now how does the uh, penile erection and protrusion actually occurs the olfactory stimuli the visual stimuli they result in stimulation this results in blood flow in the penile artery blood in the corpus cavernosum dilation of the corporal sinusoids and this results in elevated intrapenile pressure and increased penile rigidity coupled with that there is relaxation of the retractor penis muscle this leads to relaxation of the sigmoid flexor and the erected penis it protrudes it protrudes out you can see here in the bowl the erection will lead to separation of the glans penis from the prepuce and protrusion of the penis what we call the penile protrusion during this period the dribbling of the secretions of the corpus gland are noticed in the bulls the male will keep its chin on the respective female and the female will stand quietly to allow the male to mount you see here how the uh, this is the abdominal skin this is the uh, penile prepuce and then when the penis is, becomes rigid and then it moves out so this is the penile prepuce and the penis is now uh, out protruded out then we talk about the copulatory behavior copulatory behavior includes mounting uh, intromission ejaculation the mounting the sexually stimulated active male mounts the female few initial mountings may not be successful with dribbling from the penis during this process of mounting the movement of hind limbs and contractions of the rectus abdominis muscle 
will align the penis horizontally and vertically to seek the vulva for intermission. The male will fix its four limbs around the female's body and will perform rhythmic pelvic thrusts. You can see here the bull mounting over a cow. Then there is intermission. Successful entry of the penis into the vagina is known as intermission. The thrusting movement of the pelvis will help in intermission. The vulvar moisture and heat is identified by to and fro movement of the penis and the sensory nerves of the penis are stimulated. This is a major factor for intermission. The stallion oscillates the pelvis many times, engorgement of the penis occurs and finally the intermission occurs. So here you can see the mounting by a dog, by a buffalo bull, by a boar and by a bull. Then there is ejaculation. Pelvic thrust result in ejaculation. There are two types of species. The short ejaculators which take 1 to 3 seconds in ejaculation. For example, the bull and the ram. And sustained copulators which take up to 30 minutes. Example, boar and the dog. Then there are intermediate copulators which take 20 seconds to 1 minute. For example, the stallion. In bull and ram, the temperature is important. Whereas in the stallion and bull, the pressure is equally important for ejaculation. So it, this table, it shows the volume of the ejaculate in the different species, the site of semen deposition and the duration of the copulation. So uh, the uh, volume of the semen is highest in bores, 200 to 250 ml, whereas it is very little in the uh, ram and the buck. 0.8 to 2 ml. The site of semen deposition is anterior vagina, near the external of, of the cervix in the bull. In the equine, it is deposited in the uterus, cervix and the uterus. In uh, the uh, sheep and goat, again it is uh, deposited in the formix vagina and sometimes is sprayed into the uterus. In pigs and in dogs, it is deposited in the uterus. In the camel, partly intrauterine and partly intracervical. Then there is a post copulatory behavior following uh, the first is dismounting. Following ejaculation, the male dismounts the female and the penis is withdrawn in the prepuce. Post coital play is rare in farm animals like cattle, swine, and horses. The male goat licks the penis after ejaculation. Then there is the refractory period, the period after mating during which the male or female will not engage in the copulatory behavior. This is known as the refractory period. Most males will not show interest towards female immediately after ejaculation and re-stimulation may occur after the refractory period. The boar and the stallion reach exhaustion after few ejaculations as compared to the bull and ram. The Coolidge effect can be defined as the restoration of mating behavior in males that have reached sexual satiation when the original female is replaced with a novel female. Now these are the factors that affect the sexual drive or the libido, the sexual experience, presence of opposite sexual partner, meteorological attributes, hormones, management, nutrition, growth and genetics. Then it is also affected in the individual animals. The animal Having pendulous sheet show longer reaction time, whereas old individual has the poor and the worst libido. So let us recapitulate what we have learned. Sexual behavior in males comprises of libido and mating ability. The mating behavior of males can be classified into pre-copulatory, copulatory and post-copulatory behavior. The pre-copulatory behavior includes searching, courtship, flemen reaction, sexual arousal and penile reaction and protrusion. The copulatory behavior includes mounting, intromission and ejaculation. The post-copulatory behavior includes dismounting and the refractory period. The factors that affect the libido include nutrition, genetics, management and environment. So friends, you can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn link and this is my YouTube channel link. So friends, kindly listen to the lecture completely. Give your comments, suggestions, likes. And share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Govind Narayan Purohit if you like it. Thank you. Thank you so much.